Good morning. It's been a huge topic of debate across the country, raising the minimum wage. Some cities are already doing it, increasing some hourly pay to as much as $13. Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune is here to talk about whether we could see that Austin Nights, an increase in our paychecks. Good morning. Good morning. So what is the minimum wage right now here in Texas? Right now, we don't have a state mandated minimum wage, so we use the federal minimum wage, which is $7.25. Okay, $7.25. What can we see it grow up to? Here, it could grow to, to $13. Wow. Okay. So um, in Austin, San Antonio, and Barrett County, which is you know also San Antonio down there, yeah. they're all set to vote uh, as part of their budget approval process now in the fall, increasing the minimum wage. And then you have El Paso County, who's looking to raise it to about $10. And, and the argument here is that you have to keep up with just you know paying the rent, mortgage, everything that's going around you. Inflation, yeah. yeah costs go up. And, and Texas doesn't fare well on the national scale when it comes to uh, you know how we our hourly workers are paid. So we are above uh, the national share as far as the number of hourly workers earning the minimum wage, roughly uh, around the 5% range versus 3.9 is the national share. And then among states, we have the highest number of hourly workers earning minimum wage or less. And I feel like we've had this discussion before. So what is the likelihood that something like this will actually pass this time around? Well, you know, Democrats haven't had much luck in the state house in trying to bring this, uh, you know, build momentum to get this passed. So, you know, the argument in uh, Alexa Ura, our reporter who published a story this morning, uh, you know, just the, the argument or the effort rather Rather, is going local and mm. so that's where these initiatives um, they are hopeful that they are going to pass okay so let's talk a little bit more about politics you brought that up Rick Perry yeah. what is the latest on him on the race for the White House well uh, short answer he's spending two days at the Iowa State Fair versus one mm. like many of his uh, 16 GOP candidates uh, have allocated on their schedules. So he's just trying to build momentum. You know, he's grilling meat with the Iowa pork producers. He's hopping on John Deere tractors uh, and interviews, national and local. Again, just trying to stay in, uh, in voters' minds when they are called in these uh, polling, national polls ahead of uh, next month's CNN debate. So he is showing no signs of slowing down his campaign, but um, the numbers, are they slowing down when it comes to pumping money into his campaign or, or even potential voters? Well, you know, uh, uh, Texas Tribune's uh, Abby Livingston, our D.C. Bureau reporter, was in Iowa this week with Perry, and she details that he did uh, a 40-minute walk where he didn't leave, uh, you know, he charmed every man, woman, and child along the way. Yeah. Retail politics is really his strong suit, and so he is playing the long game there and likening his candidacy to that of uh, Mike Huckabee or Rick Santorum, the two previous winners of the Iowa caucus. But, of course, we know they, they didn't get much further than that. No. So. so what do you think? Are we going to see him in next month's debate? He's qualified, but again, CNN's debate next month will look like the Fox debate this month where you'll have a prime time with the top 10 and then the lower tier airing in an earlier hour. So as far as which stage he'll be on or, or what time slot, uh, yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. Alana Rocha, thank you thank for you. that.